Students might have the chance to go to school without wearing a mask. This news comes after the governor announced today to lift the mandate in January. Julia Hazel joins us now with more after attending the Mill Creek School Board meeting tonight. Julia. Good evening, Jill. Now, on January 17th, school officials across the state of Pennsylvania will have the option to either lift that school mask mandate or decide other health, health guidelines for their district. Now, for Mill Creek and Erie School Superintendents, they both say they're waiting on more information from the Department of Health before they can make any changes. Masks might be coming off for students K through 12 across the state of Pennsylvania. This possibility comes after Governor Wolf's announcement on Monday that the state mask mandate will expire in January. After that, Governor is handing off any future mitigation decisions to school officials on January 17th. And, and while we acknowledge that uh, we're looking forward to a time in the near future when we can see, really see the smiles um, on the faces of our students, our teachers and staff, we're also going to continue to follow um, our current health and safety plan and to look for additional guidance from the Erie County Department of Health uh, and our county executive. One Mill Creek parent made the decision to homeschool his kids after Governor Wolf's mask mandate in September. This parent wanted to keep his identity private. He says if the mask mandate lifts in Mill Creek, he might reconsider putting his kids back in school. There was no need for them to begin with. And once this resolution goes through, I hope, like I said, I hope all school boards follow it and stick to it. Superintendent Roberts says with this new announcement, he's excited for what the future holds for the district. But the governor's announcement today, it's really encouraging um, and inspiring. We're looking forward to see where we go from here. And according to Governor Wolf, the mask mandate is still in place for those in early learning programs and child care providers. According to the CDC and Governor Tom Wolf, they both mentioned that now that we have access to the pediatric vaccine, to go and consult a, a, a physician or a doctor on getting that vaccine for your family, Jill. Okay, thank you, Julia.